Hello and welcome back to the Hong Kong Coliseum or a very warm welcome if this is uh, your first time joining us today. We're here for the HSBC BWF World Tour Hong Kong Open and the Coliseum has uh, seen the fans streaming in over the last few days to see superb badminton action. There's been uh, a number of uh, big names that have fallen by the wayside as we enter the quarterfinal stage of this tournament that uh, returns to these shores after an absence of uh, four years. 2019 was the last time we were here. So what have we got in store here? Session two, remember we had the first session uh, earlier today with five matches, just three this evening. Uh, the man on everybody's lips at the moment, Li Chia Hao, who has beaten some big names on the way here to the quarters. He's got another one in front of him, the fifth seed from Indonesia, Donton Christie. Uh, more men's singles to follow with uh, Kenta Nishimoto of Japan up against Denmark's Rasmus Gemke. And we'll end things here. Certainly one for the local fans. Tang Chun Man and Se Yung Sweat of Hong Kong, China will play the second seeds from France, Tom Jaquel and Delphine Del Rue. I'm delighted to uh, tell you as we look at the uh, men's singles and the brackets. At, uh, the path here to the semis for Lee and Christie. But we'll see the winner of that match play either Magnus Johansson or Ante Young, who's also been a bit of a giant killer in this tournament. Well, with me here in the commentary position is one of those who came so close to a giant killing act. We've got Kirsty Gilmore with us. Great to have you with us, Kirsty. Looking forward to a uh, good lineup of matches that we've got today. What a start with this one. Well, he has beaten Victor Axelson, the world number one. He beat Lizzy Jia, the former All England champion from a couple of years ago. Surely, as a player, when you come in and you're in a high ranked player, you know this man's already taken out a couple of big names. That's got to be in your mind somewhere, isn't it? Psychologically, this is such an interesting one. Yeah. Um, yeah, what a, what a CV already. To, I mean, most players would be happy at the end of the career to say that they've uh, checked off Victor Axelson and then Lizzie Jia. <laughs> this lad's done it in, the, in one tournament. Yeah. Coming through, quali or promoted from qualifying. But, uh, yeah. So Jonathan Christie is going to be... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know quite what's going to be running through his head right now. Um, yeah. First meeting between these two players, so he hasn't also seen him up close and personal, which also is a bit of a leveler, isn't it? When you haven't experienced that player before. Yeah, I think it's quite interesting. I mean, me personally, I have a notebook with uh, names and then tactics. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a nice way for me to kind of um, Rolodex all of my information. Um, and quite obviously, the players will watch back um, videos on, on YouTube or BamsonEurope.tv. And, um, well, apart from Tai Tzu Ying, as we saw in the uh, interview that came out this week. Who doesn't do the prep, doesn't like to look at that stuff. Doesn't, doesn't like a bit of homework. She <laughs> goes purely on instinct and feeling. Um, but the vast majority of players are doing the homework. But I think there might not be that much online, that much information about Jia uh, Li. No, there isn't. I can tell you that during yeah. my research. <laughs> there, those are, those are the results of uh, Li Chia Hao, and uh, doesn't get much better than that. Uh, a long match against Li Zijia yesterday, which I was working on, and uh, yeah, he just kept his cool. This young man is uh, not that young; he's 24 now, but he hasn't uh, won yet on the World Tour. He's got one title on the international challenge uh, level. And he's up against the world number six, Jonathan Christie, who's from the capital, Jakarta, and uh, has been, of course, as high up as uh, number two in the world. That was achieved at the start of this year. So he's already played two Hong Kong players who've actually won this tournament themselves, Angus and Kalong and Lee Chuk Yu. Both of them took quite some time. What will this one have in store? 
Well, we've got our umpires here, Cynthia Tam from uh, Australia. And she'll be supported by Reza Roshan Omid from Iran. Jonathan Christie, of course, has won plenty in his time. He's the defending Asian Games uh, champion, something he'll get to uh, defend in uh, China in just a couple of weeks' time, less than that. Former Asia champion civil medalist last year. He's also got the SEA Games gold in 2017. And on the World Tour, he has won uh, four times, including the Indonesia Masters earlier this year. So, Kirsty, let's talk about the uh, court conditions, because you were on court three where you pulled off, uh, almost pulled off a, a fantastic result against Akane Yamaguchi. It, to be fair, it, it can be different on, on each court, can't it? Yeah, I think every court has its own almost kind of microclimate, um, <laughs> but, uh, which a lot of the halls on the tour do, to yeah. be honest. You try and we get a couple of days pre-tournament to, to you know gauge all the conditions, mm. and we try and cover as many courts as we can. Um, but they change court to court, and it changes day to day. Yeah. So it's really, really difficult to get a hold of it. So they get underway here. So tell us what you've experienced, at least on, on court three, and then we, we'll see if we can extrapolate that for court one as this match progresses. Sure, I don't, so I don't know if it comes across uh, on the streaming um, for people watching at home, but the setup of this tournament is a bit different. That's a really nice take from Jonathan Christie. Yeah. It's early and direct. But the setup is a little bit different in that we have a back wall. We don't often have a back mm. wall. The courts are quite often floating in the middle of an arena, kind of surrounded by the seats. But the, the spectator stands here only cover um, three of the four sides of the court, which is strange for us as One, players. Um, two. And as we're looking at the court right now, Jonathan Christie is on the is hitting with the wind is what we've experienced so far in this tournament. And going by the two points that he's given away in this set. Two, it would that indicate that's the same thing that on this court. That is continuing, yeah. yeah, definitely. So, yeah. And that would make it more difficult for a player, wouldn't it? Yes, uh, in a control and a defending Three, capacity, two. but in an attacking capacity, if that shuttle's, if you're hitting that shuttle down, it's mm. going to be going faster too. Right. So there is that. So Jonathan Christie is going to want to, I would imagine, be closing down that net, really taking advantage of that net, holding that net. Just missed that sideline. Service um, over. But Three, as is Chia Hao Lee, he's going to want to keep that net for different reasons. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a game of chess there. I think we might see quite a lot of the action in a kind of box game sense, um, which will be an interesting matchup to see Four, who's got the kind of three. the the explosion within that kind of small space. Lee takes the lead here. Now enough of that is there. Well, the thing is, I found in my games going super high, it, it, it'll hold up and it'll stop. And it's also very difficult to control or to time. So, so any, any kind of height on it. Any oh. kind of height on it is really holding up. So I was just banging the, the highest high serves and that I possibly could. Oh. And I honestly, oh. they were going about half court. Oh. But. Uh, I found that Akane didn't have much confidence on her overhead attack. I don't think she got one winning shot from that, oh. so I just persisted. Persisted with that, fair enough. With a super high serve, which seems counterintuitive uh, to right. give someone a, a super high lift, but in this hall, to get that timing overhead is, is was really tricky. What about sideways? Anything sideways for you Five, in this? A little bit as we four. look at it, uh, right to left, a tiny bit, um, a few inches. Um, so that's not as we don't need to worry about that as players okay. as much as the front and back in this hole. Christie here leading by one and on serve. Oh, oh, wonderful for Christie. Yeah. Six. Four. You can see how Gia Howe's quite comfortable Trying lifting on this side. Um, that was well turned around by Jonathan Christie, but Thank Lee you. is definitely 
got a bit more control and will be happier to lift on this side. But does he want to be on the re receiving end of Jonathan Christie's attack? Maybe not. You won that first game against Akane 21-7, right? Yeah, exactly. I can't even remember the last time she's only scored seven in a game. Me neither. My uh, Adam Hall was doing my coaching and uh, at 11, I think I was 11-3 up. That's nice. That's nice to down the net. Um, Seven, he came on and he said, okay, four. we have to assume she'll start playing better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, and I was totally mentally and physically Ready prepared for, for that. that. And, but it didn't come in that set. It right. came in the next two, but uh, not in that set. So, yeah, I'm maybe one of the few people that can say I've taken a set 21-7 off of yeah. Yamaguchi. Yeah. <laughs> Right off that, nicely Wonderful done by Christy. Starting to open up a lead here. Eight, four. Jonathan, show him. Yeah, nicely brought down. Sometimes it's not all about power, especially with trying to get the, the correct hitting timing in this hole. Thank you. Sometimes you're better to let it just come in really close to your racket and then almost kind of pull it down rather than going for the big swing and the big hit. Which is Jonathan Christie did that really nicely there. Fault. Oh, reach you out. Service over. Takes that nicely. That was in the zone. Five. Not enough eight. height on that lift from Jonathan Christie. Lee just explodes onto it. Well read. Yeah, he was very powerful against Axelson in the opening round. Mm. Took only uh, 33 minutes or so to beat him. Six, very comfortably, and uh, Axelson, to his credit, extremely gracious in defeat, said he was a better player. Yeah, I mean, Victor is a notoriously nice man. <laughs> and I can confirm that he is. Is there enough on that one? Oh, oh that's one that Christy, you would have think he should have made that. Absolutely. Seven, and he knows it. <laughs> Some athleticism shown here by Lee. But he, he was at the mercy of Christy, wasn't he? I think that's why he's been so successful in his first two rounds at just Thank like you. just surviving those wow. ones and putting your shadow back in and saying Pressure's back on you. Play one more. Right. Play one more. Um, which can be Play. annoying <laughs> as the, the higher ranked player. Right. Well, we have to say that Yuji Hao has looked uh, fearless. Hong Kong Open, he's only been here once before. He's a 24, 2019. He was out in the qualifying rounds. That's for Jonathan Christie. And maybe challenges. the drift playing a part Cold. in that. It's been challenged here by Christie. So, so I was just about to say earlier, Christie getting to the semi finals in 2016. It is just out. It's a good challenge. Correction out. Close. Good challenge. I would say over. quite often Nine, if the player seven. is challenging their opponent's back. Mm line play i'd say it's almost every time unsuccessful <laughs> but if you're challenging your, your own, own back line i'd say players have a pretty good read mm. on that that's that's interesting to hear okay mm. so Service just take us through sort of the the uh, men mentality here for Eight, a low ranked player nine. to go up against a high ranked player is you know you have nothing to lose. You, exactly. you go in and you might as well go in all guns firing and try and play on the front foot, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, definitely nothing to lose and quite often, that's him, that's nice. Christy 
finding some control on those lifts now after a few hours at the start. Eight. Yeah, quite often you find that the um, the lower ranked player has the game of their life or the tournament of their life mm. um, if they can keep the momentum going long enough. Um, because the onus is with the, the higher ranked player, the more established player, the older player quite mm -hmm. often to set the pace, be in the driving seat. And if the conditions are tricky, if a few kind of different shots come, like we say, uh, Nine, Ligia has ten. been going around the kind of challenge, maybe the series, yeah. maybe the 100 level tour. Yeah. And playing in smaller halls requires different tactics, different shots. Oh, Oy. there's another one. That's the second one now, at least that I can call. But Christy ought to be making that. Ju yeah. Just too eager to get it on the floor. Just snatching at that, maybe? Just yeah. Now, oh. does that start playing on the, on, on, on the mind? There might be a kind of settling in period. Okay. Possibly. And again, like, the the timing of it and the drift might have just, like, taken that slightly away from his racket. We, we are not in a great position, but yeah. we're sitting to judge that right here. Um, might be just a little settling in. I'm sure if it comes up again, he will make absolutely sure. Well, service over. We will wait. 11, 10. <laughs> At the interval, interval then of this first game, it is John De Christie who leads by just one against Lee Chia Hao. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Ah. 11, 10, play. Fascinating this, nice and tight, this first game between John Christie and Nietzsche Howe. So far, we've seen Lee Chihau be the more, um, not passive, um, more retrieving player, mm -hmm. I would say, the more neutralizing player. Jonathan Christie's been coming with a little bit more aggression, but also been making, I'd say, a few mistakes w within that, within the initiative play. Oh, that was a good shot to the body, into that, le that right 13, shoulder. So 10. difficult to deal with as a player. It's, the hardest place to get your racket head to. Mm. That was really nicely placed and doesn't require any margins to the sides. You don't have to mess with the sidelines on a body smash. Three points clear here. Jonathan Christie. Nice. Make that four. He might just be feeling a little bit 14, more comfortable having had that chat 10. with his coach as well mm -hmm. during the break. I mean, that, that can be really vital, right, for the coach just to maybe help reset you and, and give you some ideas? Absolutely, yeah. It's just um, it's nice to have someone out with the the court. It seem, it's so close to you when you're on the court and just have that little bit extra perspective from right. the coach. I've sat in the coaching chair a couple of times and it's, uh, well, I tell you, it's easy from back there. <laughs> Service oh, over. It's easy to know what you're taught to do from back 11. there. 14. <laughs> but when you're in amongst it, it's... Uh, that it's perspective, right? Because yeah. you're, you're, you're too close to it, I guess. Absolutely. You're just doing. You're not kind of... Sometimes you're not uh, reflecting mm. as well as you could be. Well, that's beautifully done on the back end there. So, so, di 12, so direct. Mm. 14. Only his uh, Play. ninth quarter final for Lee. He's only won one of those. He was at the Indonesia Masters last year. Oh, miss hit from Jonathan Christie there. 
came off the frame of his racket. It's a rally that perhaps Christie could have done better in. And Lee has taken advantage. Towel. It's only Towel. one point in it. Towel, please. Really nice weight onto that defence. That was almost going past service line, which makes very, makes it very difficult for Jonathan Christie to come in and play that tight the net. Middle of the court. He's more, it, the longer the shuttle goes in and dips, the more likely the opponent is to lift out. So the weight that Lee is getting on his defence will be really important Thank you. to dictate or kind of nullify Jonathan Christie's options here. Lee? Told you about uh, Lee's record in quarterfinals on the World Tour, and Jonathan Christie has been in 52 of them compared to his opponent's eight previous quarterfinals. There's only won 21 out of 31, so 21 others, 52. Lot won his last two, though. The China Open and the Japan Open. Oh, well left. 14 all. We're all square again. I think Jonathan Christie is right to stay aggressive on this side. Yeah. I think going into the Luigi House body mm -hmm. 15, is a good tactic because 14. then the shuttle has to come through Jonathan Christie to get to any corner and you better believe he's going to explode onto <laughs> anything that tries to get past him but when little <laughs> shots like that come it's going to be pretty difficult it can be explosive as well service over 15 Michelle dispatches Ooh. that one Good net shot, sets up that short lift. Good defence. Yeah, great defence from Christie. Now his turn. That's the third, isn't it? 16. Now 15. we're starting to hear the crowd as we get towards a business end to get behind Lee. I think we're about to see where people's allegiances lie. <laughs> yeah. We know Christie's got a following as well. Yeah. With the established players, there's pretty loyal fan bases out there, but when uh, neutral spectators come in. I certainly heard the crowd going, getting behind you. Yeah, that yesterday. was nice. It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that's more like it. And that's what you're saying. It's going to play shots like that through, that so right through. Over. Go into the body. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would say credit to the, uh, the umpires 16. here. Oh. Um, I was specifically told before my match that I'd be allowed to towel down whenever I needed to. Ah. Um, I think that for whatever reason, when there's drops of sweat on the court, they, they've they been quite slippy. I think we yes. saw Victor Axelson slip a couple of times. In China as well, I remember it was very slippy. And it's the same, same, here. same okay. courts, um, same texture to the surface of it. It's pretty warm in here as well. And it's pretty warm in here, yeah. yeah. We're kind of down courtside here, and so we're um, getting a, we're getting an idea of how just how warm it is. I mean, you, you played on it as well. You know. Absolutely. 16. So um, credit to the umpires for r really allowing Giving the players. That. It's it does come down to a matter of safety. I know we have the sure. the continuous play rule and everything, um, but when it comes to slips and spills, yeah. absolutely. So there was also on court three, interestingly, <laughs> a little drip from the ceiling. Oh. I think just right under the net. So right under this. So for singles, we're not 18. too bad. For doubles, yeah. you could 16. be getting into that kind of territory. Yeah. Um, but they were very understanding about um, about wiping it. So, uh, yeah, we appreciate that as players. <laughs> Two points clear, Christy. Three away from wrapping up this first game, if we can. Mm His -hmm. turn, Nietzsche Howe. 19, 16. Christie. Now in an advantageous position. Please, sound court. Sound court.
Oh. It topples over. He needs all the help he can get at this current stage of the of the game. Towel, please. 17. It's 19. honestly one of the best play Towel, that Effie Ling was a player. Just leave the <laughs> as much as you're putting up your, your hand to apologise, you love it. It's a little bit sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If everyone could get 21 of those, I think you would sign up you would for that, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> a little bit of wipe down here. Thank you. Chia really has... Uh, to close down as much as possible before Christy gets to gain point. No, zero margin for error at that stage. Trading by two. It's interesting at this point of the match. Yes, he's found that line. At this point in the match, you can choose to go all in, all guns blazing, mm. or you can choose to play it safer and try not make the errors. From Christy's perspective. From Christy's perspective, yeah, because he's the one that's gonna have to make a decision either way. Three game points for him. Scrambling. Will he make it? No. Oh. I'd like so to see the over. along the net angle of that one. <laughs> That's my favourite angle for things like this, but I'm not sure we will. And again, yeah. if the drift the drift doesn't doesn't help him in that instance, does it? No. He, will, he was wanting to shut that down that net, but he committed a little bit too much forward. Still two game points. That's out the side. <laughs> now, the pressure's cranking up here. 19. On John Christie. 20. Yeah, absolutely. Luigi has done such a good job of holding that net and saying, like, it's a, it's a message to Jonathan mm. Christie. Go on, lift it. I dare you. Massive point here now. Oh, he's held that net. Oh, he's, he's got it. it. John Christie edges out Lee Chia Hao in this first, first game. game. Fascinatingly Christie, tight encounter. 21, 19. This Indonesian who comes out on top. 21 19. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Jonathan, Jonathan, go back. Thank you. Second game. So Marvel. a really good start to this match here Play. between John de Christie and Lee Chia Hao. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, all the fans all. Yeah, love to see. Yeah. So now, Kirsty, now, now we've flipped ends. Um, and you've seen this, how both of these players have been so far. 
how do you think it's gonna it's gonna pan out? How do you think they're gonna try and use it to their advantage, the conditions? I think very important that Jonathan Christie for Jonathan Christie. I think it's very important that he won that first set. Right. Being on that far side, um, that is uh, a feat, I would say. Mm. So I would say he's now on the end where he has in. more freedom. So he is going to be doing what Li Chi Hai was trying to do on the first set there, closing down that net and forcing Li Chi Hai to lift, which is going to be very difficult to control. Um, We've got a challenge here for me. We We've got a back line. But in terms of the freedom that Jonathan Christie has to play his shots on this side, so much more. He right. can afford to put some clears in, whereas they would... He uh, wouldn't have dared so much. He would yeah. not have dared on the, on the other side. So, yes, he can. He could go down the... Uh, well, I think Lee, uh, Jiha could go down the... Correction, um, out. ...route of almost playing more of a box game um, and not so much of an up-and-down game. Could work for him. Lee, your right. towel in the back, please. Uh, Thank you. Challenge certainly worked. For Lee Chia One all play. Two. And for Lee's one. perspective, as you said, I think uh, you mentioned it for Christie in the first game, was that he's now got to try and play on the front foot and, and attack, right? Stay, stay on that sort of front? Yeah, I think so, especially on this side. I mean, yeah, so Lee has go going to want two to be on the attack to get that shuttle coming down, down the way. At that speed. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be going with the wind mm. now. So it's a big ask. He's going to need to force uh, Christy to lift somehow. There we go. Let's see what we can. Mm. Three, two. For someone who's uh, right in the 30s and not too long ago, almost uh, 50 in the world, he's played four top 10 players already this year and beaten two out of four. That's not including. So over. And Lizzy Jiao, of course, Three. who's not in the top ten anymore, Ball. but he beat Lizzy Jiao when he was world number four at the German Open. And of course he beat Victor Axelson here. 50% win rate against top ten players. I don't think many players ranked 30 in the world have stats like that. Right. For sure. Especially their kind of first uh, iteration of being yeah. in, in the top 30. So... Four. Yeah, if this is just the start of his uh, journey and his career, then he's off to a flyer. He's matching uh, John to Christie at the moment. Control from Five, Jonathan Christie three. there again going in kind of longer into the service line with all of his shots there, which takes away Lee Chi Hao's ability to step in and play a super tight net shot. Building a little cushion here of a couple of points here, Jonathan Christie. Oh, try to step over. in and take that one early and. Missed it. How much do things like an unforced error like that play into the mind of a, of a player? Um, do, you, do you feel, you know, does that irritate? Do you think move on, draw a line under it, move to the next point when a succession of them happen? I think, yes, I was going to say, I think it's circumstantial. I think if it's just one, then it's, you know, it, it's, uh, oh, well, I kind of messed that Five. one up. But if it's, um, oh. if it's kind of, if you're catching the frame, if you're just, pinging it out left mm. and right when it's just not very um, typical for you, then uh, yeah, it does kind of make you wonder like what's wrong today? Mm. <laughs> Why am I not uh, catching this correctly? Um, and then there's kind of 
Oh, see, we can see that was just a little nudge up and over Jonathan Christie, and it's found its way out. Yeah, that's a good indication of the uh, kind of drift or the wind behind Li Jiahao. Um, so, yeah, there, there's kind of things you can put in place to try and get better timing in a haul or kind of nullify these little mistakes. Mm. Um, letting the shuttle come super close you. to your racket before you Service try to play over. that shot and play it with as short a Six, swing as possible. The shorter five. the swing, the less can go wrong, typically. Um, but we're always looking to get the, that kind of really concise hitting motion, either underarm or overarm. You don't want to be kind of winding up like a windmill for the <laughs> for a massive swing on things um, because you know it doesn't lead to good timing. So yeah, there's little little tips and tricks that you can try to gain better control over your your skills and your shots. That's lovely. Beautiful from Lee. Service over. I think whatever Lee decides Six. to do, oh. he has to do it with full commitment. Right. And it may lead to a couple of errors just due to that, that timing, like we say. But I think if, if, you know, if he goes up and he feels like he wants to smash, he should fully commit to that. Don't second guess it. He should trust that. The thing that will make his timing worse is tentativeness. Right. Fault. That's Fault. good. You can see Jonathan Christie being a little, a little careful with his margins Seven. there. Six. Yeah, he seems to have been so far in the two matches of this tournament, Lee, quite the uh, having the courage of his convictions and, you. Uh, as you say, committing Thank himself. You. Yeah, I think quite often you see with um, younger up-and-coming players, they can have a kind of flash in the pan, right. win against a big player, big name, and then they can't quite back it up with a, with other good performances. Quite often the run for the men's <laughs> and the match after. But considering Lee Chi Hao has managed to go from beating Victor Axelson to beating Lee Zee Jia, it, I mean, pretty impressive. But can he get past the the wall that is Jonathan Christie? Oui. Um, we know that Christie's a pretty Eight. good player Six. of drift of, of, the, of these kind of conditions mm. as well. Estora Sanayan, for example, is, is, is one that's pretty infamous, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a big test for Li Chihao. points in front here, Christy. Ten, six. Now, once you start Building up that lead, some sort of so outside that striking zone of striking distance of about three points. It's, you know, you just need to keep close to that, don't you, as possible to your opponent. Exactly. Yeah. It's um, if you if you just take the points as individuals, the score is inconsequential. Mm. But there's just no denying that the the pressure is on when that little gap appears. Um, but as the as the lower rank. Play. Actually, as as either oh, he, tried, he tried to get his body out of the way somehow <laughs> for that one. At the so interval, John De Christie is five points clear. We'll come back to that point. Sure. After the break. Judges, just towel in the middle of the court on the lines, please. Thank you.
Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach, return to your chair. So in the, uh, in the interval, uh, Kirsten and I did some quick uh, investigation just to confirm what I was, uh, 11, was thinking. And um, yesterday when Lee Chia Hao played play. for Lee Jia, he also lost the first game, 19-21. And... It was at the end that he started as well in this match, Service Kirsty. Over. So he Seven. he obviously Eleven. dug deep in that one to come back and win the next two. So I'm sure he's he's not discouraged at the moment, especially when he's showing some good form. Yeah, like we were saying with the with the scoreline, I think obviously as a player you want to have a big lead. That's like the ideal situation. But at this level, how often does that really happen? Mm. Unless you catch Kani Yamaguchi on a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as especially as the, the lower ranked player, you have to be content with just being close. Mm. It, you know, if you're, if you're within two or three points the whole way, that's beautiful. The height he got up for that. Wonderful. Nine, 11. Soft hands, wasn't it? Yeah. Worth saying again, this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you're within that kind of two or three point mm. area of each other, then it really comes down to who's got the the nitty gritty when it gets to those big points at your at your 18, 19, 20. That's going to be on oh, the floor. Steep one, wasn't it? Mm. No Service chance over. for Lee. But I don't think Jonathan Christie will be relaxed no. at this point. Okay, he has a set in the bag and Thank he has you. a three point cushion, but there is still a long way to go Service up to that 21 12, point marker. Yeah, having lost at 19 21 in that uh, first game against uh, Lizzie Jia, he went on to take the second 21 uh, 17. And then it was a tight one 22 20. He held his nerve. So he can draw upon that experience from yesterday. Absolutely. Quite often when you have a, a three set, a tough three set match. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Oh. That was a very good call to that. But again, out the side. he's going for that sort of thing. And you're saying yeah. you sometimes you buy these points, right? You, you, you lose a few to, to gain a few later, I suppose. Exactly, yes. It's an investment. But quite often when you've had a, a, a tough three-setter, some people might think it would like drain your mm. energy. But I think, pers in personal experience, almost like, this is a great box rally. <laughs> Oi, I'm going to be quiet. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Wow. The, club, the uh, fans certainly enjoying that one. Well, you, you feel a, a stirring win like yesterday it actually energizes you, right? I think so. I think it gives you that confidence of, well, if I can do that, I can do anything. If I can get through a game like that, well, I can do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And adrenaline's a hell of a drug. It really, uh, it really brings things out of you that sometimes you, you don't know are, is possible. Right. Superhuman stuff. Yeah. Again, yeah. Well, he was uh, trailing by five earlier. At the interval, Lee Chao, it's down to three, that striking distance we talked about. He's playing some good stuff. Mm. That's the number Love of those it. today for Christy. Yeah. On yeah. both sides. Both sides, yeah. It's a little wince on his face. He's. Looking at his coach intently. It's so frustrating as a player when he, he'll practice that every day. He does mm. that every day. Right. He'll do uh, skills practices, drills, exercises. That one's gone wide and we're within one. Oh, this 12. is <laughs> very 13. good as so far as uh, 
leaves a concern. Yeah, so it's it's super frustrating as a player where it's like a kind of bread and butter shot, and you go right. up and and somehow it's just not not working today. So early Lee took that net and he's oh, found that little push. Brilliant. Kirsty since the interval. 13. It's 7-2 in favour of Lee Chihau. The momentum has shifted incredibly towards this man. The ebbs and flow of, of games is so interesting, especially yeah. with our 21-point scoring system. It really allows space for those ups and downs. Especially with the ebb and flow of, uh, of the windy conditions. Here <laughs> well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And he's gone in front. And the crowd now sensing 14. something, perhaps. 13. Towel, please. Jonathan Christie asking for the court to be wiped. And I, I do think it does need to be wiped, but he'll be grateful for the break of this momentum Well, I was going well. to talk to you about gamesmanship right there, so <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I do genuinely think the court does need to be wiped because okay. it is it is warm in here for sure. There's a players' union talking, but no. <laughs> but it, look, and it's everyone knows it, right? When the momentum has shifted, sometimes you need to just slow it down right absolutely you do whatever within your means to do that yeah 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 it's um it's pure kind of uh, snowball effect sure and if you can ca if you can just change that rhythm of like serve few shots point to your opponent serve few shots point to your opponent and it just kind of bumps along like that you you want to change that just a slight bit yeah whether it's a shuttle change whether it's a court wipe Howling. It's all allowed. And he's he's broken that little run. There we go. Five points in a row from Lee Chihau. That run comes to an end. 14. Oh. But this is kind of a, a knife edge at the moment. Towel in the middle, please. Thank you. I'm certainly enjoying what we've got to see. Thank you. Going on here. See him take stock of how that he was going to hit that, and he guided 14. that down. He didn't put any pace, he didn't put any snap on it. That was a guiding down. That was pre-service line. Back in front here, Li Chia Hao. Oh, wonderful reactions. Oh. And he wins the point. Oh, that has got some of the fans on their feet. I just I watched. You said crap for space, I, have so, I don't know how he got a racket 14. to that. Um, I just watched that whole rally Line with judge. my mouth open. I was Line just gawping. Look at that. <laughs> and then to recover and just straight sprint in for the next one. I mean, it, sometimes it, it's points like that that can be pivotal. Oh, uh, it just yeah. shift everything psychologically on both ends. Yeah. on both for both players. Yeah, he's got what could be a vital two-point cushion at this stage. And there's a big difference between 15 all and 16-14 yeah. for sure. That's one of those silly sentences that you say. That's like, well, of course, <laughs> but you, you no, know, no, you know what I, I know mean. Exactly what you mean. <laughs> it's a game of two halves. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That one might just sting a little, Service but Christy over. is within a point. 16. Just doesn't look flustered at all. No nerve showing on the face of Li Chiao. It's gone in, Ooh. is it? Oh. 16. 
Oh. That could be a drift at work there in his favour. Jonathan Christie. Whatever it is, he is level. Took the gamble there, Lee Jahao. Jonathan well. Christie just wants to get that, that one more good net 16. in because he knows how hard it's going to be for Li Chi Hao to lift. Mm. But he's just gone too tight with that one. Oh, that's going to be loose. What's going to happen there? Punished. Service over. Matching each other point for point at the moment. You can see the net play, both players oh. just resolute and not lifting. Absolute battle until a loose one. <laughs> Key moments now here in the second game. Lijiao has to win to force a third. Oh, nice little inside to outside push on that. 18, 17. Going in Christie's favour. And he's just in front, three away from wrapping this match up. <laughs> so just like that little hold and open up. Just bump it into that back corner. Makes it look so easy. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> now, 19, yeah, 17. just betraying a little emotion there, looking just a tad frustrated. The lead is two, the need is also two. This is where we're going to see if is it going to be youth or is it going to be experience? for this set, at least. Now, Ooh. he's going to challenge that. Oh, we were pretty close out. to that. Mm. Was that one of those sliding out or not? Tough, right? It's that, those are the toughest ones to call, uh, especially from our position. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is probably hopeful, knowing he's near the end of this match. He's got some ah. challenges and wow, isn't it? That's it. Challenge unsuccessful. Three match points. One challenge remaining. Now, four. Jonathan Christie. 20. He's got Match to win. Point 17. At least three in a row here to stay in this match. Nietzsche Howe. We quite often see this with um, kind of um, disparate uh, rankings that the, the scoreline will be pretty close until about 14, 15, 16, mm. and then the quality of the higher rank. Oh, what a net shot. Shows through. Shows through, yeah. and a gap appears. Yeah. Uh, because, yes, the lower ranked 18, player can 20. have phases in the, within the ebbs and flows Jonathan. of quality, top Nine. quality play, but can they do it for two sets up to 21? When it matters most. Plus yeah. And yeah. when it matters most, yeah. Two match points still to say for Li Chia Hao. Yeah. Can't do it this time. He falls short of the third time of asking. John De Christie is through to the semi-finals, but Li Chia Hao, he can hold his head up high. What a tournament he's had. What a tournament. He is going to look back on this week. OK, this, this one might sting. Um, but he's going to look back on this week, and he's going to take a lot of stuff, a lot of, lot of positives going forward. Match one by Jonathan Christie, 21, Jonathan Christie 19, was pushed 21, 18. all the way, but as uh, Kirsty was clear to explain, it is that business end that makes all the difference. And the pedigree quality has shown through for Jonathan Christie, but remember that name. Lee Chiao, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more from him. John De Christie, the fifth seed, beats Chinese Taipei's Lee Chiao. 
21-19, 21-18, he's done it in 47 absorbing minutes. If 